This is 9 Rust commands you never knew you needed in Rust. So guys, before we start the video, I just want to say all the commands that will be featured within this video will be in the description if you want to copy and paste them. Next to the commands in the description, I will also have a reference to them explaining what they are and what they do. So with that being said, let's get on with the first command. So guys, for the first command, it is the new and updated seeing through the water glitch. So guys, how do you do it? Well, console, and you simply just want to enter the text in the description which is bind and then I set mine to J. You can set yours to whatever you want by changing that. And you want to keep all this the same. And you simply just click enter and you want to hold that key, so J, and you can see underwater. So it looks a bit weird, however, it still works. See, as you can see here, I can see a body bag. And over here, there's another body bag. So guys, hope you enjoy it and let's move on to the next one. Now guys, the second command is called the look radius. Now what look radius does is it increases your player's look radius. This means that entities dropped on the floor can be larger, resulting in you picking them up easier. A good example of this on screen now, as you can see a small wooden box, you can then set your look radius to one, resulting in the box's interaction radius being much larger. For example, the default is 0.2. However, during the video now, as you can see, you can then put it to 0.1 and you can access parts of the building which you couldn't access before. Now this is helpful if you place the window and you can't upgrade the wall behind it. But with this command you can. So by setting it to 0.1, which was the lowest look radius that I could have set it at, this means that the cursor is more precise at aiming at the little details. Therefore, I was able to upgrade the floor and the ceiling which were too far away at first. However, in this second clip, you can actually now increase it to the max radius, which is one. And what you can do, if you manage to somehow drop your weapon underwater and you can't find it within the grass, you can set it to the radius one which makes it bigger and you can then find it more easily than if you would on the default look radius now this next command is pretty simple it is the auto run command what you want to do is enter a command which is in the description for me i've set my bind to x as it's easy to reach and what it simply does once you click that it makes you auto run so you start sprinting forward and that is it this next command is again pretty simple, however it is a very useful command to have. I like the auto run, this command is called the auto farm command. And simply what you do, once you press the key, it should auto farm for you. So again, copy and paste the link in the description into your F1 command console. I have mine set to my Z key, however you can set yours to whatever you want. And again you go, and you should start auto farming. Alright guys, this next command is called a gc.buffer. And so what this does is it increases your garbage cleaning collector to 4 gigabytes instead of the default 256 megabytes. So this will actually help and cure your stutters and freezes in the long run. Now there will always be memory leak on your game depending on how many hours you have it on for. Whether this will actually get rid of it or at least delay it. For this next command we're going to be looking at perf 1 and 2. What perf 1 and 2 is, is at the bottom left corner of your screen, there will be displayed your FPS and your ping to the server that you're currently on. However, perf 1 on its own only displays your FPS, however perf 2 displays your FPS and your ping to the server. This means that you don't have to keep going into F1 console and keep typing FPS or ping every single time. This is quite handy if you just want to quickly look to the bottom left hand of the corner of your game and just see what your FPS or ping is to the server. Alright guys, this next command is a key bind for the combat log. This makes it so you don't have to keep typing combat log on your F1 console. So you just simply bind it to the key next to it, which is F2. To do this, you simply copy and paste the link in the description into your F1 console. Click enter and then once you click your F2 key, it should come up with an update in combat log. Now this next command is a well known command and it is a very effective command so if you don't know it here it is now it is the steps 60 command what this does is it allows you to jump higher than the default 30. this is good because it can be used for jumps that you wouldn't normally be able to make 
Now the sensor command is a very useful and helpful command. It is changing your vehicle sensitivity, so this will be mainly for helis. Now I believe the default sensitivity for a vehicle such as a heli is too low. So what you can actually do is you can change this to however high you want. The default is 1, however I recommend either changing it to 2 or 3. To do this copy and paste the link in the description and paste it into your console. Now you would change this in game if you normally have a low sensitivity or anything like that. And so guys that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy please feel free to leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of story like videos which include lots of action and PvP along with a few edits and a lot more tutorials on the way.